Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to give an update in terms of my bulk. It has been about seven months thus far. Um, I'm still going strong and I just surpassed a pretty crazy number, which is a body weight of about 260 pounds. So I've been, you know, in the 258 to 261 range over the past couple of days. So, um, you know, technically I've surpassed it, but I'm not always at 260. I weigh myself in the morning. Um, but anyway, Here's a picture on the screen of me at 256. That's the last time I took a picture in the gym. Um, so I look pretty much the same there. And I'm definitely holding on to, you know, a lot of fat at this point, but the amount of muscle that I've gained over the course of this bulk um, has really been kind of eye-opening. I mean, I, I honestly wasn't expecting to bulk uh, for this long or at least to get to this body weight this fast. Um, but my bulk has just been going so much better than I anticipated that I just keep going and I just keep pushing the calories. So um, the highest body weight that I ever got prior to taking tricesterone and definitely prior to this bulk uh, was 242 pounds. I think I look better now than I did back then, even though you know I've added 15, 20 pounds since then. So pretty crazy. I mean, obviously the overall fat number might be a bit higher now, but the muscle that I've gained definitely makes it look better on my frame in my opinion. So um, anyway, just wanted to discuss, you know, my strength numbers, uh, potentially what would happen if I were to cut um, and just kind of the progress with the bulk and, and how it's been going. So um, the main kind of thing that I was shooting for on this bulk from a strength perspective was hitting a 405 bench. Now, if you've been watching this channel, um, I've updated. I did hit a 405 bench back in December. My most recent lift prior to that, um, that was like a PR for me was 355 uh, for a set of five, okay? So that was my max like volume attempt uh, prior to hitting 405. Now, since then I've hit, you know, better numbers than that. I've actually been experimenting with a Larson press and I actually Larson pressed uh, 365 for five. So I've actually have 10 more pounds on my Larson press than I did back when I hit a 405 bench. I don't know how much Larson press actually adds in terms of that extra leg drive, but I've still literally added 10 pounds to my five rep max, even if leg drive was non-existent. Obviously that's something I need to work on as my form is, you know, not very uh, technical, but in terms of, you know, that number, I've added a couple reps to a lot of my, you know, 315 AMRAP, 335 AMRAP, stuff like that. Um, I think I hit, uh, yeah, I hit 365 for a set of six on flat. And that was, you know, I probably could have gotten a seventh rep or it was pretty close. So a lot of volume PRs. And um, the only reason I'm not going like ultra heavy is because, well, I hit 405. And I think my time is better spent actually building muscle and building strength than trying to express it by peaking. So um, I spent quite a bit of time trying to peak for that 405 bench. And um, I just don't think it's as efficient as doing, you know, higher volume stuff in terms of building muscle and, you know, building strength potential. OK, so volume PRs are going up. I've been getting back into doing more lower body work. I'm a little bit more like well rounded in terms of my training, not just being focused on bench press. Um, so, yeah, my lifts, I would say, you know, I've probably added about 20 pounds of strength potential to my bench, like if I peaked for a bench probably have 425 if I were to actually go that route, but that's just not really a number that I want to sacrifice my current training to hit. And uh, in terms of the bulk, I, I think my days are probably numbered considering I'm getting so heavy. I really want to spend my time bulking, actually focusing on, you know, getting volume in, getting uh, volume PRs as opposed to dedicating so much time trying to hit a heavy single, you know? So um, that's where I'm at in terms of my strength numbers. Now, I know people are going to be like, okay, you're getting heavier. Of course, your bench press is going up. doesn't really seem to be the trend for me in my life. I know it's really weird, um, but if you go back to my uh, last cut towards the end of it, I actually hit a 20-pound bench PR. Um, for some reason, the correlation between my weight and my bench just doesn't really seem to be there. Um, not to say that bulking doesn't allow me to build my bench. That's because I have the extra calories to work with in terms of building the muscle, building the strength, but... In terms of actually weighing more, I mean, there's been many times where I've hit PRs during cuts. Um, this is true for OHP as well. And so, um, 
you know, it's hard to say exactly how much, if any strength I would actually lose if I went on a cut, but I'm pretty confident that I would retain the vast majority of it, if not all of it. So I'm pretty excited to see when that takes place, the cut, you know, how much muscle I actually built over the course of it. Um, you know, how much strength I was able to retain. Like I said, I do think that I will actually be stronger um, as I implement more strength training, um, one rep max type of stuff back into my training. But anyway, that's how things have been going. The weight has been pretty crazy, about seven months um, on the bulk. How much muscle I've actually gained throughout this process? Well, I haven't done a body scan in a while just because as you get heavier, as you get to, to you know hold more fat, the, your ability to actually calculate body fat percentage isn't as good, right? It's, it's much easier to calculate somebody who's like really lean or on the leaner end, what their body fat percentage is. And considering they're all estimates anyway, I think it, I'd be much better off just finding out once I actually cut, which uh, hopefully I'll do eventually. But as of right now, the gains have been really good on the bulk. So I'm just going to continue to do that. I might be entering more of a maintenance phase at around the 260 level, just because it's very hard to eat enough calories to continue the bulk. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I just came off a seven day break, no training. Um, and hopefully that'll prime me for some extra gains. If you're not familiar with why I do that, that's a, a method that Megan from team 3d alpha recommends doing kind of an mTOR reset. So I just came off of one of those ramping my strength back up. It's going really well. So hopefully I can get even stronger, build even more muscle, uh, before I kind of end this bulk. I don't really know when that will be, but it'll probably be sometime in the spring. So should be just right around the corner. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.